Putehi Latex and Savertidian's Moneka Flores was on the beach at Anderson Air Force Base Tuesday. Taragi was where my great-grandfather ranched right before the war. This is land that was taken from our family from eminent domain. Flores alarmed at what she saw, capturing these images of pink smoke billowing into the air. Watching that pink smoke rise up out of the jungle and have a long-lasting hover up, into the, up toward the mountain, over the cliff, um, what we thought about was how this is impacting all the fish, how this is impacting our water, how this is impacting our air, and how this is going to impact all future generations that call Guam home. The Air Force confirming with KUAM the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Flight assigned to the 36th Civil Engineering Squadron was conducting routine training yesterday. The pink smoke seen from Taragi Beach was due to standard smoke grenades used for training purposes. The military's burning and detonation activity ongoing even as their permit application remains under review with the Guam Environmental Protection Agency. The Air Force wanted the court to dismiss the civil lawsuit stating the federal court on Guam lacks jurisdiction. The Air Force is relying on the fact that it has a pending permit application to continue to blow up bombs on the beach at Tarage. David Henkin is Earth Justice Senior Attorney. Protegi Latexan and Earth Justice in court today arguing for Chief Judge Francis Tedinko Gatewood to deny the military's request, sharing the harm being caused. But she dismissed it, saying it appears the ball is really in Guam EPA's court. We're obviously disappointed uh, that the judge dismissed the case and, and basically let the Air Force off the hook. Uh, in making a decision to continue very destructive activities on Chirage Beach. And the judge basically relieved the Air Force of that responsibility. So it's time for the people of Guam to let the Air Force and, and Guam EPA know that enough is enough. Earth Justice Associate Attorney Tian Chow says letters were sent to Guam EPA this month. The group has been waiting for action since May of last year. It has been the long-standing interpretation of the U.S. EPA that if the applicant for a permit to open burn and open detonate hazardous waste uh, cannot show that open burning and open detonation are the only safe alternatives, then that permit must be denied, and it must be denied immediately. Uh, there are real on-the-ground consequences that, that occur. Rachel Taimanao Zuzu is the attorney for Putehi Latexan. The fight is not over. Um, we are disappointed with uh, the court's decision today, um, so we will have to come together and reevaluate um, and and strategize and, and consider the options uh, going forward, but it's not over for PLSR. The plan for now is to appeal the court's dismissal as they wait for answers from the local EPA. The fight's definitely not done. We're taking um, many avenues to try to stop this horrible practice from continuing to take place, and we want Guam EPA to take action now. Now, more than ever, um, we need Guam EPA to decide, and we want them to deny the permit.